I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phils to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. And we're... Welcome to our weekly Chica Chica. Chica. I got so excited in that. And we're here in Moon Valley, Valley Park. Park. It's a new place for us. I'm gonna show you it. Not really. A, it's still big. It, this is a pretty big park, but it's split by this wash. Oh, yeah. That through the desert in the southwest, mm -hmm. there's areas that when it rains, it kind of funnels water and it becomes a raging river. <laughs> when it doesn't rain, it just completely dries up. Yeah. But part of what makes them a desert wash is all the greenery on them because there is water and there's often water underground, not too far, not too deep. Yeah. A lot of this greenery stays. And because there's some green, a lot of times they'll build parks by them. Yep, and I like that bridge. I wanna take a picture later on that one. But we need to finish first. <laughs> Got excited. And this is in one of the more well-to-do Sosi type areas. So yeah. this, park is kept up a little bit better than most. Whoa! I'm hoping the sound isn't going to be too horrible because it's windy today. They got basketball courts, they got volleyball courts, they got tennis courts, they got playgrounds. Kids biking. They got kids biking. They got those exercise stations. It's a bridge to connect to the other wash. Hey, to the other The park. other side of the park. Yes. We'll walk across the bridge. Yeah. And you really can't see it from here. I'll have to see if we can get a picture of it on the way out. Yeah. It's two grasshoppers back to back. Yeah, it's actually really cute. Because of that, this park sometimes gets called Grasshopper Park. Yeah. Here. Wanna hold it? No, I'll leave you. Pay attention to what you're doing. There's something. It's really cool. It's a neat place. You can see there are a lot of people playing, walking with the dog, just having a good time. That's where we walk. And That's where we just came from. oh yeah, we're going to this bridge here. We'll go across the bridge and you can see the wash a little bit better. Yeah. That's so cute. It's definitely a good time to walk. It's not as hot as it is. Oh, awesome. That's beautiful. Yeah, as many times as I've been in this park, I've never been across the bridge. Yeah. I'll get to a picture later. I'll squat and I'll like point it out. <laughs> Instagram posts, you know. That's so cool, I like it. It's pretty. We we start riding down the parks and go there. Start from <laughs> you know, write the names of the park. Okay, which park do we still need to go? You know? <laughs> It's kind of bucket list for going to the parks. <laughs> These are actually kind of neat parks in the area. Yeah, actually pretty. I like it. I like the color. That's one of my favorite color. This is a park that's not in an area that we normally go to, but it's still not too terribly far from where we live. Yeah. But it's only five kilometers or so, about two, three miles. Yeah. See, it's a good extension. Ooh. And this is the other half of it. Imagine it's, it should be a good place to walk or run here. That's what a lot of this, these are, is that they've got these paths that you can walk and run. Yeah, definitely good. And this is where we came from. It's pretty. That's amazing. That's a, it's a very, very quiet place, as you can see. Yes, it's a park. 
It's quiet, definitely. We'll go here. Okay. We'll go to this We're gonna walk back to where we came from. Yep. We're gonna walk back across. And we will see you in a minute for Chica Chica. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay. You ready? I'm not. <laughs> you okay? You're yeah. Distracted. You're OCD. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, my OCD is showing that I started and stopped just like four other times. <laughs> We're actually really close to where we started out at. Our car's right here. Yeah. It's real windy today and I burned it out and I forgot the tripod. So we're actually doing this on our selfie stick. Yep. And from the look I'm getting on the uh, app, I think I'm going to need to do a little bit of editing on this one. But it's a really cool park and we checked it out. It's, yeah, I like the weather. It's cool and windy. Uh, it reminds me four years ago when I first came here in the US. <laughs> That's just my thought. Yeah, this May has been kind of messed up, dude. Yeah. Not a week ago, we had in Northern Flagstaff on I-40 that had it shut down because of an ice storm and a major accident. Uh, and it was cold and windy and wet here in Phoenix. Yeah. That I've been getting to think somebody moved us to Oklahoma because it's been windy for three weeks. Which is real unusual for Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I feel like we're in somewhere upstate New York, somewhere like that. <laughs> no, I don't know that word, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely nice way nicer weather than Phoenix is noted for. Yep. Especially this time of year. Yeah. We had our first couple hundred degree days. And then the weather changed completely into this. Yeah. So, we'll take the reprieve. But... To give you a recap of what we do... Yeah, this week a friend of mine came over and we got a couple of projects done. I got a flagpole put up. Yay! We'll have to show the picture of that. He got his bike, um, his motorcycle, some work done on that. And also got up four LED fluorescent type mock fluorescent lights or whatever you want to say, however you want to say it. Yeah. In the garage so we can see what we're doing and I can actually work at night now. Yay, yes. I, I like it though. It's super clear, you know, the light. But yeah, with the washing machine and stuff out there, the, there was one small light that was in that area, but it didn't provide a whole lot of light. I think you'll like this way better. Yeah, definitely getting into that so we actually got a little bit of projects and stuff like that done getting ready yep and then i got a chance to experience my first comic con comic convention it's actually they changed the name to phoenix fun fusion it's a more of anime and yeah it's really cool i like it though because i like anime like i know some of the anime that I've watched when during my childhood days like Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, uh, Naruto. Um, basically, yeah, it's amazing like uh, seeing people going to that convention wearing costumes and the panelists. Maybe I I feel like um, it reminds me of childhood definitely, and yeah. Um, it was a good overall experience. It's a little bit tiring, but it's overall it's a good, and I'm having fun and like, uh, exciting uh, about um, the perspective of Comic Con. The she actually got to go with my son. My son goes every year, and yeah. he enjoys it. And they left me at home. Yeah. But it let me get some of those projects finished up too. So that was kind of cool. It's a lot of walking, definitely. Got my 18,000 steps for that day, Tony. And she seemed to really enjoy it enough so that we found out that she lands on August 2nd and Manila's Comic Con starts August 2nd to 4th. Yeah, Asia Comic yeah, Con. Yeah, that's in so, the small of Asia. 
I'm a, here because of American attitudes and such that, and various other reasons that she just wasn't able to get a whole lot of pictures. So I'm hoping on this one yeah. in Manila we can get uh, uh, some really good video, some really good photo video footage of that one. And that ought to be really cool. That we ought to really enjoy that. And then we'll go do, then we'll go get on a plane and head to Cebu and Sabonga and go do Fiesta in Cebu and Sabonga. Yay! Oh my god. For like 10, oh no, the last time I experienced it, like 2009. Oh my god, it's been 10 years. Wow. It's been like 53 for me. <laughs> then it'll be really cool to be my first time there too. And yeah, I'm looking forward for um, most of everything. And yeah, that's definitely uh, the trip that I'm looking forward to because like my other younger brother is coming home. So yeah, for after five years, no, four years and a half, get a chance to meet up all my four brothers, normal, uh, three brothers normally either or two of them because one is always Definitely, I'm looking forward for it. And yeah, we really have an, an exciting weekend so far, right? Yesterday, we did. Um, well, you got a couple of our prints, and uh, my son gave me a couple of our prints for an early Father's Day, and so we got them a little long ago. Yeah. Uh, we did some redecorating in the house yesterday. Yeah. We got frames for all for the our prints, and. Today we finished up what, what little was left, doing some last minute shopping and we got some steaks for the grill. Yep. And as soon as I edit and post this, we're gonna go out and have a cookout with possibly a friend of mine's gonna be stopping over if he can. Yeah, and definitely we will add what topic are we discussing also like for a few minutes. Oh, it's understanding versus agreeing. Definitely, it's for me. It's a good topic. Would Would you mind starting it? Like, well, this this is something that's going on a lot here in the U.S. and and something that's going on a lot in our lives too. Is that I can understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, and I don't necessarily have to agree with you. Yeah. In it, and I'll, that we've had different things that go on with ourselves. Yeah. And just because I understand what you're doing doesn't necessarily mean I agree with it. Some of the, the cultural differences we have. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I understand what they are. I, I can sympathize with it, but I, I don't necessarily agree with it. Yeah. There's a difference between understanding and agreeing, aside from their spelling, okay? <laughs> Right? And like some things like how people um, react and their attitude and like how it, it's kind of sometimes it's in intense. You know what I mean? Like either you go into work or you go hang out with different people. It's just more okay, you understand the situation, but some you don't really agree. You know what I mean? <laughs> prime example is a lot of Filipinos and again I understand the cultural reasoning and the, and the embarrassment factor and all that that although I will put myself out there and try to speak Visayan to some of these people yeah a lot of them refuse to try and speak English to me knowing that they're not going to pronounce it well and they don't want the embarrassment yeah I understand the cultural issues, I understand why they're doing it, but I don't agree with why they're doing it, you know, I agree with what they're doing. That you've got someone that's willing to, to, to put themselves out there and, and be understanding, yeah. yet they aren't willing to put aside some of the embarrassment factor and realize that it's not going to be embarrassing in front of him because he just embarrassed himself in front of us trying to pronounce our language. Definitely my perspective about understanding versus agreeing is you understand and you kind of put the respect 
on it even though you don't really agree you know what i mean <laughs> Well, and that's just it. That a lot of that can be respect. You know, that, that it can be viewed as being big, very disrespectful by not being by not being willing to to meet in the middle. Yeah, and sometimes, like me, my attitude, I'm basically a passive aggressive. <laughs> so, like with our day to day uh, life, we have that understanding. But I don't really agree, but. We just meet halfway. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. So. But that's about it. Thank you so much, my boo. Boo-hi.